there, this is Karen with Photos Kept Alive. I'm going to show you a quick video on how to add text to a shape. This is a new feature for Artisan 5, and it's one that I've actually only recently started working with. Uh, I really do love it. So I have a background on my page, and I'm going to go ahead and insert a shape. And I'm going to use a shape from a kit, and some of the standard shapes that I have, I've used quite a bit. I like this, um, I don't know, comic book callout. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And certainly now I can work through the screen over on the right hand side. So I can change the color of the shape. I can even use a, a color from a kit. I can make it gradient. Just for quickie and ease, I'll just change the color. And then I can add a stroke, which is like an outline. So I can add an outline if I want, and I can change the color of that outline as well. So I'll go ahead and change that. Uh, I'll just be really crazy here and make it a bright pink so you can see the differences. And click Create to create my shape. So now I have my shape on the screen. I'm going to select my shape and come over to the left-hand side, and I'm going to actually choose the text option and format the text. And there's really cool features here over on the right. So I can have it not show, I can fill the shape with text, and I could position the text along the shape. Notice when I choose that, the text is along the outside of the shape. That's a cool feature if you want to do some journaling around a special shape. But filling it simply makes that shape now a live text box. So I can add text to a shape. Notice I'm writing in the editor over on the right. I can change my font to um, any other kind of font. I can change the size. This is all pretty normal text stuff. I can change the color of the text. Maybe I want the color of the text to be a little bit gray. Now here's the really fun stuff for me, as I can change the alignment. So I could make it all um, right justified, fully justified, maybe left justified. For this one, I like it centered. I can change the line spacing. So I can make a larger space in between the lines. And then my margins. Maybe I want to move it down in the box. And so I can play with these margins a little bit and do that and move it down in the, in the shape itself. When I'm all done, click OK. And I now have text in a shape. Hope this has been helpful for you. Again, my name is Karen, and I'm with Photos Kept Alive, showing you some tips and tricks with Artisan 5. Have a great day.